there she is, fast look, oh shit. This is it guys, we're almost on board. Oh, this is exciting. We've seen launches from here a few times and nothing like being there for the atmosphere. I'll just zoom in a little bit so you can see a little bit better. But yeah, there it is. You can't see very well with the glass actually, it's gone out of focus. Oh, there we go. So this is the, the second room that we've got. Um, this is one of the sea view rooms. It's quite big when you go in. We've got a full, full view mirror. So you can check out your outfit before you go out, make sure you're ready for the day. And then you've also got a desk, which usually has all your welcome packages and everything like that on there. You've got some hand sanitizer. You've got another mirror. You've got lots of plugs down here as well. USBs, always handy. We like those. Got lots and lots of drawers, so lots of storage space. Got a little cooler in here, little fridge. It's drawer space, you've got a hair dryer, you've got tissues, loads and loads of drawers. And if you want your breakfast order in, that's where you're gonna find these as well. So you just fill those out, hang them on your door so that they know what to leave you in the morning. And then you've also got, excuse the bags, but we've also got on the right hand side as you come in as well, we've got a full sized wardrobe with coat hangers, we've got a sofa bed, and then on the other side you've got another set of drawers and a big wardrobe with coat hangers and you've also got your safe in here as well. Big huge bed. Beds are always usually really comfy on cruise ships. Get a really good night's sleep being rocked to sleep. On either side, you've got a little desk. Again, plugs, USBs. So you can charge your phone up at night. You've got your TV there. So you can watch live TV from around the ship. You've got your account on there. So you can keep an eye of what you're spending and things like that, which is always good and what you've got coming up. You've got your phone on this side as well. So if you want to ring for room service or anything like that, you can do that. And then I don't think we could have got any further to the front of the ship. So this is your window. So you could actually lay in bed and look out to sea. But um, on a night time, there is a note there. You've actually got to um, close the drapes, which is just this button here. So that'll make the blinds go up. If I push that, you can see them go up there and then stop and then back down again. And the reason being is because if you actually look out here and up, that is the bridge. So um, captain will be up there sailing the ship. So you could actually lean forward and wave to him in the morning, which is quite cool. And you can see for miles and miles and miles. So this will be really nice views out here. And then if we go back the other way, So 
So I'm just going to take you back. So there's the front door, just so we know where we are. And if we look this way, this is actually your bathroom. So you've got a nice, decent sized shower here. And you've got shower gels in there. You've got shelf space to put all your toiletries. You've got towels, your sink, you've got some soap. And then you've got another shelf down here as well. You've got a little trash can toilet brush and then obviously a toilet as well okay so this is the stateroom with a balcony which leads into the ship which i'll show you that in a minute so this is the other room that we have so as you go to the left you've got a standard floor mirror and then to the left of that we've got a little light up mirror with your desk again this is where you're going to find your hand sanitizer um all your in-room stuff so if you've ordered anything um you know, like internet or any excursions or any drinks packages, anything like that, everything will be on the desk. You've got tons of plug space down here as well. You've got USBs, so you can plug all your things in. We like USBs, same as the other room as well. You've got your little cooling fridge in here. All your storage space, the same as the other room. You've got your, excuse the bags and the luggage. Um, you've got your sofa bed there in here you've got your bathroom so you've got your big shower you've got all your shower gels and shampoo and everything in there included you've got your toilet your little bin down there shelf space towels you've got your sink and your soap another very big mirror shelf space so you can put all your toiletries on there quite a decent sized bathroom and then if we come this way you've got a big cupboard there that's got all um, coat hangers and everything and then the same in this one as well so a full size closet with drawers at the bottom so lots and lots of storage space and then again you've got your safe big double bed big tv to either side of the bed you've also got usbs in there so you can plug your phone in and charge it at night as well and that's on either side of the bed and then the phone's on the other side as well so you can call if you want pizza or if you need any help with anything at any time and then you come out here from levels three, four and five on the ship. This is the piano man and he travels all around the ship so you can see him in all sorts of different locations. Earlier he was in a lift. The food is fantastic in the dining room. We really, really enjoyed it. It was Caribbean night tonight and the waiters that served our table was fantastic. They were really friendly and really helpful. So we're going to head to the aqua theater now so that's on the end of the boardwalk on level six a little bit on the website that it says about the show it says the judges scores are in and it's intense the awe-inspiring athleticism and mesmerizing technology 
are all cranked the way up in aqua theatre production only on wonder of the seas this high energy show brings next level intensity to everything from pool plunging to tightrope teetering and beyond shift all your expectations of what entertainment can be into high gear and prepare for maximum performance level of intense the only question is are you ready to push the pedal to the metal now i've seen this aqua show but it was slightly different on another of the Royal Caribbean ships and it was on Symphony of the Seas and it was incredible. I actually watched it at every opportunity that I could. Uh, that I could. It was just so good. So I have really high expectations of this and I'm really excited to see it and I'm excited for you guys to see it as well. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Right now, the sea's quite rough and the ship's rocking a lot, so she's doing really well because this is super difficult at the best of times. We have four Olympians 
several world champions. We have dancers, synchronized swimmers, martial artists, we have an aerialist, we have slackliners, we have highliners, we have high divers, and look at this, a full female cast. Isn't that incredible? Yes. So please come back. We'll do it on night three, the same time. We're gonna reschedule for you. We're gonna move all those reservations over. You don't need to do anything. Uh, but ladies, thank you uh, very much for, for being ready and being ready. We're gonna try and do 10 o'clock, so uh, fingers crossed here tonight. And uh, there they are. Ladies and gentlemen, the cast of Intense. Just come to the Bionic Bar now, which is located on deck five. And this is a really cool bar, it's really unique, and it's where you're going to be served to drink by robots. There are age restrictions, so depending on what sailing you're on, so you're looking at 21 plus on sailings from North America, 18 plus on sailings from South America, Europe, Asia, Australia, and New Zealand. So that's a couple of things just to know if you are going on these ships. So you get these iPads to order all your drinks from. If you see any that you like the look of, you just click on them and then it'll give you a list of the ingredients that's in it and also the cost as well. can also read up reviews on the drinks as well and there are some funny ones in there so they're worth looking through even if it's just for a bit of a laugh at some of them um, and if you want to add one you can add one yourself as well different drinks you've got two different menus you've got classics and your signature drinks you can also design your own as well so you can sort of tweak it you can add more of something or less of something or put your own ingredients in Okay, let's go for... So you get lists of what you can add. And then the bartenders, or the robots, will whip it up for you. And what you can do is while you're waiting for your drink, you're waiting for your cocktail, you can check out the electronic display board and it'll give you fun stats, you know, about other people's orders so you can actually watch them being made, see what, see what steps they're on, see what's going in it. And if they've made their own drink, then it's quite good to have a look because it might give you ideas of things to try. And it'll also tell you an estimated time of how long it's going to be before your starts being made. And then you know roughly when to go up and watch it being made if you want to watch it closer. So there it goes, it's making hours now. A lot of shaky shake now. And there it goes. Some drink made. Did a great job. When you come to actually collecting your drink, you do that by your ship's card and you just press it on the counter there and then it will release your drink to you. So that means no one else can actually come up and take your drink, only you. I'm going to head into the Royal Theatre now and see one of the other shows on board called Voices. 
Now I'm probably not going to be able to show you too much of this because of the music in it and copywriting. And obviously I don't want to spoil it for you if you do come and see these shows. So I'll put little snippets in for you just to give you a taster. On the website it says that Voices is a virtual, visual and vocal show. Sync up your senses with a show that delivers a dynamic combination of virtual and live performances in real time. World-class singers and dancers take the stage for a powerful new production in voices and intimate performance on a grand scale. Watch as the all-star ensemble dials up the talent in an emotional show of monumental proportions inside the largest theatrical venue at sea. Increase your connection speed during our newest bespoke production, only on board Wonder of the Seas. So it is unique to this ship. <laughs> So many songs 
us to the end of today's video. We've already seen so much of the ship. From what I've seen, it's going to be so much fun. There's so much to do, so much to see, so many things to eat and drink. And let's not forget the parts of course. That's to come in future episodes, so stay tuned. Like, subscribe, ring that bell, do all the things so you can come along on this journey with me. It's going to be super, super fun. I can't wait to bring you all along with me for those adventures. We have already seen quite a bit already. So we've already done a couple of the shows. We got to see Voices. I didn't know what to expect from it because I've never seen it before. But if you love music, you're going to love this. It's got a little bit in there for everyone of all ages so no matter what you're into there's going to be something in there that you enjoy it's got music from all across the years then we went and we tried to watch intense unfortunately it wasn't possible today because of the weather it was just too dangerous for them to go ahead with it i don't know if you noticed the pool in the background on the clip of the show but the water was sloshing around all over it was just not possible for them to do it but don't worry we will be back in a future episode for sure and i can't wait to show you that show because if it's anything like it was on the other ship i was on you're in for a treat it's going to be fantastic we got to do the sail away party i got to show you the rooms we got to see a little bit of the food in the main dining room and of course, we went to the Bionic Bar for a few drinks, which was all made by robots, which is pretty awesome and unique and definitely a place to visit if you do go on Wonder of the Seas. Join me for the other episodes in this series where I bring you along. We're going to have a tour of the boat and I'm going to bring you to the destinations that we stop off at. Until then... It's a great big wide world out there. Keep exploring. Mm -hmm.